Hello everyone, I'm Finn from Finbrick42, and right here in front of me is set 70661 Spinjitzu Zane, which retails for $13.99 Canadian and has 109 pieces. This set is from the Lego Ninjago line, and uh, it's one of the newest version of the Spinjitzu Spinner. They've made a few additions at this point, but only two of them have been spun using your actual hands. So this one's the most similar to the original, which is pretty nice. Alright, so now I'm going to show you all the features of the build. The set itself comes with one minifigure, one spinner, and three customization pieces to make it either defense, speed, or attack for the spinner. And each one of those customization pieces has its own sort of stand to keep all the pieces together, which you can actually place the spinner in to keep it upright. The minifigure is Zane, and this is Zane's ice spinner, so that's very nice. So now I'll show you how each one of them works on the thing individually. The first one is speed, which supposedly makes the spinner spin faster than all the other ones. So let's see how well this one works. Never done this in front of a camera, so hope this works well. So yeah, you can see it's spinning in the back there. It spins pretty well, it's balanced. Uh, okay. Let's try again just to see how it works. Yeah, that's pretty smooth actually. Yeah, that's really good, wow. Alright, so next up, I'll show you the attack speed one, which is this one right here. The attack spinner is a lot bulkier than the speed one, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, it actually uses a bunch of printed 2x2 two two round tiles with Zane's Shuriken logo on it, so that's very nice to have, especially since there are four of them on this. And underneath, it's another really good use of pieces where it has some of the old shurikens from, I can't remember which season it was introduced in, but it was a while ago. So let's see how well this one spins. Yeah, this one feels a bit heavier. So yeah, this one is definitely a bit slower, but I can definitely see how it gets more range than the other one. So that would definitely be very good for attack. But yeah, that spins quite well, actually. Once again, it's very balanced. And yeah, I think it's overall a good design so far. And now let's see the defense one. So here's the defense one. And yeah, it really does look strong, um, really built up there. And these spinners are meant to be used in at least two at a time, I think. So you can battle them against each other and see which one stays spinning the longest. But unfortunately, I don't have two at the moment. Might get a second one later, but really the point is that the spinner would try and defend or block or attack really the other spinner just to see, you could just try using which ones to see which one would last the longest. So right here's the defense one, and it looks like it's made up a bunch of ice blocks on the side. So now I see how well this one spins. This one does feel pretty heavy. So yeah, this one's a bit wobbly, but I could probably adjust that. But it, actually, wow, that spins for quite a long time. So I'll just see if I bring these all the way down. Maybe it will balance a little bit better. Yeah, that feels a lot more smooth. And it's pretty nice because even though I'm just twisting the kind of headband of Zane, it's not coming off too much. It is tilting a bit. But I've seen videos in the past where this seems to fall off. But luckily, it seems mine's doing a pretty good job. Um, I do have right here a test dummy from the Spinjitzu training set that I reviewed a while ago. So I'll just see how well this works. I'll try the attack one and just see how well this can actually knock it down, or if it can, because that's a little lower than the Spinjitzu spinners. Alright, so here I've got Zane in the attack position in the Spinjitzu spinner, and I've lowered these all a bit to see if I can knock over this test dummy. So make sure it focuses on both of these, and all right, let's see how this works. Oh wow, that knocked it right away. I'll see if I can put it a little further away. See if I can move it towards it. Oh, that part fell off, so it hit my tripod. Try another time. See how well it can control it. I think the thing is you want to put them pretty close together, but not too close to start. Ah, oh, we'll hit it. Guess not. Alright, try one more time, just to see if I can knock over the test dummy. And that was pretty close, but there we go. So, 
yeah, I think overall it probably will work a lot better with multiple of these. They spin quite well. And yeah, they do stop pretty quickly after they hit objects. So now I'll look at the minifigure right here. So right here is Zane in his ninja robes. I'll just remove the sword that it comes with. And you can see that he has the gold dragon printing like the other ones from this series or this line of sets. And I think that works really well. I like how it has that semi-metallic finish that makes it reflect just a bit. There are also, there's lots of details all over, and the feet have the sandals, and as well as just sort of cloth all over. And you can see the tail of the golden dragon continues to the back. So there's his, oops, there's his ninja symbol right here, and there's his very happy face. So I'll show you the faces now. So right here is the uh, semi-angry face, and the more determined face, and right here is Zane's very happy, robotic-looking face. So yeah. Oh, also, I really like how they've done the dual molding on these headscarf things for the ninjas now. Really appreciate that. They don't have to worry about any paint chipping off, like, that happened to me with a bunch of my ZX ninjas. So yeah, great minifigure, and now I'll just do the overall review. Alright, so this is a really good set, and I think it has a lot of really interesting building techniques and pieces, and I really like this new mold for the Spinjitzu Spinner. I can't say whether I like this more than the original or not, it's really hard to tell because they're just different in that way, but this one definitely looks a lot more like the way their Spinjitzu kind of mini tornadoes look like in the show, so I really appreciate that. I think it's a great minifigure, really appreciate how it has printed pieces here. And just overall, I think it's a pretty good idea for the line of sets. I'm glad they went back to you spinning it with your hand instead of with some sort of ripcord or something. So, yeah, I think it's pretty good. You know, as always, you know, the price is a little high. But I think overall this time it's okay. There's a pretty good value for play here. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great day.